If you need to brush up on some skills, or if you're just starting out in voiceover, this video is going to shed some light on some of the best practices you might want to start using in your own routine. Stick around. Hey everyone, Transverse Audio here. Even if you think you know all there is to voice talent, you might be surprised how effective even the simplest of things can be. Not every one of these tips are actually used during a recording session, but for the career as a whole as well. Let's get into it. The first tip is probably the most important one, yet one that may go unnoticed. Drink lots of water every day, in and out of the studio. Quite importantly, some water before you warm up and make sure to be taking frequent sips throughout a session. It will help give your voice clarity and help prevent damage and discomfort. The next tip, develop a breathing habit and remember to take your time and breathe during a session. This one is really important as you don't want to ruin a line or pass out because of a lack of air. If you're out of breath, it's probably going to be noticed in the recording. Tip number three, warm up your voice with a simple practice routine. Giving yourself some time before a session can help build confidence and comfort, but can also prepare you for certain pitches or tones. The fourth tip, warming up your upper body and facial muscles. You can start in any order you want, but make sure to stretch and relax for each part. You can stretch your mouth wide open, scrunching your face up, and you can push your tongue out as far as you can. And no, not all at the same time. The next step is to simply practice speaking out loud while reading from a script. Almost every voiceover job involves a script, and it's one thing to read in your head, but reading out loud helps with punctuation, intonation, and coordination. Tip number six, speak clearly and with confidence. It's easy to start mumbling or even be scared to speak with a lot of expression. Doing a voiceover requires more emphasis while you speak to really portray the mood and clarity of what you're saying. So keep in mind that the listener may experience your voice differently than you think. The seventh tip is about the intention and emotion you express while recording. Understanding the intention of the script can help you decide what emotions to use during a specific part. Besides, speaking in monotone can really drain the life out of a good script. The next tip is to learn the basic jargon of audio engineering so you can communicate better and more professionally. The audio engineer will be working with you more often on bigger projects and may request a certain take to be redone and what to change in it, so it's important to know what they're talking about. Tip number nine, record yourself when practicing. It can help you assess how you performed and what you can do to improve. Learning how to record your voice while doing it efficiently and effectively will be a crucial skill to pick up. Remote work is done quite often in this industry and it's important to learn how to do it well. The last tip, and this one is mostly for out of the studio, but can definitely be applied in it as well. Taking care of your voice while not working is important for your longevity as voice talent. Avoid situations or places that require you to yell or speak loudly for an extended period of time. I've got a bonus tip for you. Do all of your sessions in bulk when you can to get the most out of the time it takes to set up, warm up, and record. Doing this will save you a lot of time in the long run, but of course, it all comes down to your schedule and how many projects you're doing at once. Now, there's plenty more you can do to get better results in your career or hobby in voice talent. These were just the 10 most important, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments below. And what are some additional tips you use? Subscribe and hit the bell if you liked it. And as always, thanks for watching.